We got the oats all done yesterday. Lots of ups and downs. What you're looking at is a bin there. It's got the auger up to it. It's supposed to rain tonight, so I've got the grain truck tipped up. Um, I'll probably go blow that out with some air. There's a few oats left in it. Clean it out. There's also three piles of uh, Class 5 gravel there. We're going to spread those out to make the pad a little bit bigger to make it easier to get trucks in and out of there. Um, got the combine put away. I got to blow that out too today. And the bean head. So the bean head needs some repairs. Let's see. What broke yesterday? Something is wrong with the clutch on that grain truck. It will not shift. Ease. I mean, it needs attention beyond what I can do for it. So it's going to have to go back in the shop. Fortunately, it, I could only get it into third or fourth gear. I couldn't, you know, it's an eight-speed transmission. And so it was limping along the whole time. And there's a high-range, low-range selector that was not working properly as well. Um, you know, on the bean head, there's some, I think I have to change the other half of the teeth. And Carl's here. Carl's been hanging in there, you know. He's lost a lot of weight, but then he just hangs in there for the last six months, and the vet says there's not a whole lot to be done for him. As long as he's not suffering, he wants to come out and run along with me. Oh, the other thing that um, <clears throat> broke. On the end of that uh, bean head, uh, there's a PTO shaft that spins coming from the combine to power it, and it drives a pulley with a belt that um, I had to take this up to deer and said, hey, I bet, I bet you a dollar you've never seen a, something fail like this. So here's the pulley. And it's got that uh, hex brooch, you know, where the shaft comes through from the PTO. And then it uses that force, that revolution, to drive a belt, which is normally, you know, eight feet long. Well, obviously, this belt is shredded. Well... It got shredded and went through the side of the pulley. <laughs> I went to take the belt off. I'm like, oh, I just got a new belt. And I'm like, look at that. Yeah, he said, I've never seen it. Just basically sheared, it ripped apart the, you know, popped the rivets and ripped apart this pulley. Um, so they had a new one. And that was, I put that on yesterday. Got it all retention and everything. Uh, the new one's cast. So it's got this hub, this big broached hub to fit onto the shaft. But this part was a piece of cast, cast iron, as opposed to this. Um, and uh, wasn't cheap. I think the pulley was about $500. And I don't know what the belt was, 100 200 Oh, and I fried a belt previous to that, too. It probably had something to do with this, so I'm hoping there's not an underlying condition on that. So today, blowing out the equipment. Um, oh, I'm going to try this, too. This is another, this rotary hoe here. These tips wear out. You can rebuild, I've rebuilt the bearings. So take, grind off this plate and change the bearing. But then there are these, um, rotary hoe bits to, you have to weld these tips on. So we're gonna do that. There's a hoe bit replacement spoon. There's a little jig, which is uh, here. So I've gotta set that up and um, The guy who sells this is called uh, Practical Farm Supply. He's out of uh, the Thumb of Michigan. Nice guy. And I bought enough. There's 16 per wheel. The economics of this thing are a new wheel, I think, is $75, $70. And you can rebuild one of these. The bearing is 5 The bits are like 20 plus an hour of your time, maybe an hour and a half. 
and you'll have a, actually a better, these tips are actually better than new because they're bigger, they're bigger tips, so it makes it more aggressive. So I'm going to rebuild them, and they go on the uh, rotary hole over here. Oh. So we're going to do all, all of those, weld all those teeth on. Let's see when their projects are in here. Oh, I've got to work on that canopy. That thing is junk. I bought it from Tractor Canopy Supply. The brackets are not adequate. And then if you look at it, I don't know if it's going to show up. But there's like a one inch dip in that plastic top. And they told me, well, I'll just loosen the bolts and put it out in the sun and it'll return to normal. It'll be flat. I said, no, no, that's not right. Okay, we'll give you a discount. So if any of these people watch this, um, tractoraddons.com. I mean, it's just lame what they propose. What are you going to, you know, I'm going to mess around with shipping it back. Hmm sort of a prosumer thing so I got that I've got to uh, clean out the drill that all gets uh, needs new gauge wheels and seat disc openers on this for next year let's see what else is going on in here it's about it oh, I've got new tires on the van rides different now it's nice I don't know what else. It's a nice day out. Oh, uh, I've got to combine. I've got to swath the Kernza is the next. It's supposed to rain here tomorrow, today, tomorrow. And after that, there's a window. The Kernza should be ready. I'll swath that. Then uh, run it through the combine. I've still got last year's Kernza in that white tote over there with that ventilator on it. The co-op hasn't been able to sell last year's. They're talking about, oh, we need more growers, so... I think this is the last year for me for Kernza. <clears throat> um, and once the Kernza is done, I need to swap back and put the round bar concaves back in the combine. This whole corner here just needs, I gotta put it somewhere. These were the um, mud flaps for the 7220. I don't even mow my lawn, but that mower's fried. The mower deck's shot. Yeah, I don't know. Bunch of other equipment out here that needs work. Welding and whatever. Breathing that grain dust is uh, giving me a little bit of a cold, you know, just coughing up stuff. So I try to wear a mask when I'm out there, but don't always get it on. But the auger held up well. Oh, we broke two shear pins in it. Dad kind of got a little over enthusiastic and started dumping too much grain into it and boom snapped and when you know it was like last night like oh, okay and getting that PTO shaft back on that 7220 it's got a mechanical PTO there's a spring in there it's not a hydraulic release so you've got a pry bar the PTO on the auger to get it to line up with the PTO shaft splines on the tractor is a pain versus the hydraulic ones. Anyway, so that's my bitch session for today. Got it out of my system. Uh, I know there's people who've got a lot tougher than me and I shouldn't complain, but at times it just gets, kind of wears me down. And um, the beans look okay out there in the background. I've got a handful of weeds in them. But they'll combine up okay. And uh, here it is, August uh, 14th. Oh, happy birthday to my niece. Uh, Dawn, Dawn Mist, if she happens to watch this. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.